Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Miss Katie's Corner. For today's episode, we are going to be doing a craft centered around the book Only One You by Linda Kranz. We read this book yesterday for our episode. If you didn't happen to see that one, go back a day and click on that link and it'll take you to the read aloud of Only One You. So for today's episode, I want to do a craft um, about Only One You and it is going to be painting a rock. And this rock is going to be symbolizing you and how you are so unique and so special in so many different ways. So I'm going to go over some materials that you'll want if you want to participate and follow along and paint your own rock that goes along with this book. Or if you want to sit back, relax, and watch Miss Kitty paint a rock, you can always feel free to do that as well. This might be a great activity for a day that's going to be rainy. I know this Friday doesn't look too great and this weekend looks kind of chilly. So this might be a great activity for one of those days. So let's go over the materials that you'll need. The very first thing and probably the most important thing you'll need is your rock. So I found my rock out in near my driveway towards the um, edge of my woods. And what's important about the rock that you choose, it was a little dirty. You can see that this was the side that was um, facing the dirt, right? It was touching the dirt. That's why it's that light brown color. But it's important that your rock is um, flat so that you can easily paint it. Because when we look at the rocks, that look like the pretty little fish, they're all rounded and pretty much flat. Now we could use the other side to this rock, but you can see that by looking at its profile, it has a large bump on it and it's kind of scaly. If you have a chance and your rock is dirty, I would definitely recommend washing it first. I just sprayed my rock outside with a hose just to get the um, dirt, grime, all that yucky stuff off of it so that the paint can stick to the rock and it'll look really nice. So that is your first material that you'll need, which is an easy one because you can find it outside and doesn't cost any money. Now, the second thing that you will need are paints. And I have a bunch of random different types of paints. I have acrylic paints, I have a gray, a teal, and then I have this washable glitter glue that I thought would also be fun. You know me and glitter. Um, and then I also just have some regular paints, different colors. You can use whatever color paints that you would like that you have at your house. And so the other thing that goes with paints, you need a paintbrush. I have two. I have one that has a larger bristle and then another one that has a skinnier, finer bristle. And so the only other thing that you're going to need is some water to dip your paint brushes in once you want to change colors and definitely some paper towels, some napkins, um, and newspaper to lie down flat. Or if you'd like, you can do this outside. Today is a little bit windy and I'm afraid that the paints would go everywhere and fly away. So I'm going to do it inside so you can see. Okay. So now I'm, I'm going to flip my camera and you will be able to see me paint my rock. And like I said, this is just a really fun craft, a fun activity to do. And this rock, I don't know what my fish is going to come out looking like. Um, if you decide you want to do something else that isn't similar to one of these fish, you could absolutely do something else. I would pick something that you think um, embraces or um, talks or speaks to you personally. So Let's get started. I'm going to put my video on time lapse because this is probably going to take me a long time. <laughs> I don't want to waste your time and have you viewing all of the decisions that I'm going to be making about my paint colors. So I will go ahead and put my video on time lapse so you can see me paint. Okay, I'm excited. Let's get started.
this is what my final rock painting turned out like. And I'm sure you're all wondering, Miss Kitty, is there ever a craft or activity where you don't use glitter? The answer is no. Even though I try not to sometimes because I know it makes a mess, I always think that glitter just looks so nice. And this rock that you painted is supposed to represent you. And so for me, I always try to find the positive, um, uplifting things and situations that might not be great. So I like the shininess of it because it reminds me that even when something may appear dull, if it's not shining kind of right now, there's always an opportunity to shine. And so I would love to see images of your rocks if you happen to paint them. You can always email them to your classroom teacher and they can forward them to me. I would absolutely love that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and this craft on rock painting and it got you to thinking about what type of person you are and how you are so unique and so special in your own way. And I hope that maybe you put this rock outside if you have a garden or by your front doorway. And when you think of it, you are reminded of Miss Kitty as your student teacher during the second half of your first grade year. Because I know that this is, I will always hold on to this. And this memory that you all have created with me is so near and special to my heart. So boys and girls, before I get emotional, I'm going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.